Hello there, this is John V, Software Evangelist at Jscape, and you're watching a Jscape MFT Server tutorial. In today's video, we'll show you how to configure Jscape MFT Server so that it automates the process of downloading zip files from a trading partner and then unzipping them upon arrival. I'll assume you already have a trading partner set up. If you don't know how to set one up, just check out the links in the description. We also included some links about triggers just in case you don't know what they are and how they work. We're going to need two triggers here, one for downloading the zip files and another one for unzipping each downloaded zip file and moving them to a designated directory. Let's get started. Fire up your browser and log into the Jscape MFT Server Manager. Navigate into a domain and go to the Triggers node. Click the Add button to add a new trigger. Let's call this trigger Download Zip Files from TP1, where TP1 is the internal name we've assigned to our trading partner. Because we want this download to occur at a predefined schedule, we choose the current time event type. In the next screen, we specify the schedule at which we want this trigger to execute. Let's say we want the download to be carried out every Friday at 8.30 p.m. Next, let's specify a trigger action. What we'll need is the Trading Partner Regex File Download Trigger Action. This will allow us to use a regular expression to specify the set of files we want to download from our trading partner. Once you're inside the Trigger Actions Parameters window, select the Trading Partner and specify a remote directory. This is a relative path relative to the root directory of the user account we use to log in to our trading partner. In our case, the zip files are placed in a subdirectory named zipped. So that's what we enter into the remote directory field. We then specify a regular expression that will match all .zip files found in that directory. Lastly, we specify the local destination directory for the downloaded files. Now that we have a trigger for downloading the zip files, we now create a trigger for unzipping each downloaded zip file. So let's now add another trigger. Let's call this one unzip files downloaded from TP1. We want this trigger to run each time a zip file is downloaded to our server, so we use the external file download trigger event type. In a production environment, you'll likely want to specify some trigger conditions like the remote server's IP address, the type of files downloaded, the port number, and so on. This will filter out other external file download events that might also be taking place on your server. After that, we add the unzip file trigger action. The first parameter we need to specify is the file field, which is supposed to be the path of a particular file. We want this path to be the path of the downloaded file. The problem is, in this particular scenario, this path should vary depending on the file that was downloaded. In situations like this, we should use a variable. Fortunately, the external file download trigger event comes with a set of properties associated with a particular event. One of these properties is the local path of the downloaded file which is stored in the variable named local path. So we can use this variable for our file field. Always remember that each downloaded file will raise a separate external file download event and each event will have its own corresponding value for the local path variable. Lastly, we specify the destination directory of our unzipped file. That's it! Now you know how to set up MFT Server to automatically download zip files from a trading partner and unzip them in a designated local folder.